Hello everyone, this is Tom with BirminghamAppraisalBlog.com and today we're going to talk about the process involved in calculating a price per square foot adjustment. Um, if you've ever tried to price a home and you have uh, different sales that, are, uh, that have different square footages, um, this will help you to determine an adjustment factor to use with those sales to come up with an indicated value for your subject property that you're trying to price. So the important thing to remember whenever you're doing this is you want to try to isolate the best sales possible, um, which goes without saying, but you wanna make sure that the, all the sales are very similar in all respects, except for the one that you're trying to uh, you know, get the adjustment for. And in this case, it's the square footage adjustment. So what I've done is I've looked at a property in this particular area and determined that uh, you know, three or four or five of the most important factors that drive the value you know, include, of course, square footage. Uh, typically, you know, with more square footage, you're gonna have uh, a higher price. Uh, you, you look at the, um, the year built, the quality of construction, the style of home, the features such as uh, the number of bedroom and bathrooms, uh, uh, the garage count, you know, the, like a two bay garage or something like that. So those are some of the things that I've looked at when I uh, uh, did my MLS search to come up with these particular sales that I have right here. So these are the sales that we're going to be analyzing. Um, so what you would do after you um, do your search, you'll need to get those sales out of the MLS and into um, a Excel spreadsheet. So this particular video is not gonna cover that, but your particular um, MLS will probably be able to help you figure out how to download the sales into uh, the, uh, a CSV file that you can use in, uh, in an Excel uh, spreadsheet. So I'm not gonna cover that here, but uh, with that being said, we're just gonna assume that you got your sales out of the MLS and into your spreadsheet. So it's important to keep in mind, so uh, this, um, this spreadsheet has uh, various information about um, the different sales, uh, comparable sales, but we wanna make sure that, that uh, two items are included, and that would be the square footage of the home, which is called GLA gross living area, as well as the price of the home, because that's gonna be uh, the two items that we're going to be looking for. Uh, all of this other information is good to have if you are um, you know, studying um, other aspects of the property and you're trying to figure out other um, adjustments or anything like that. But for the most part, these particular properties are very similar, if not identical to the property I'm going to price, except for there's difference in square footage. And you can see there's a range right here. So, so since, uh, whenever you have all of your sales into the spreadsheet, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, gross living area and highlight it, such as I'm doing here. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with Excel, um, you could do some other YouTube tutorials about you know, how highlighting information and cutting and pasting it and that type of thing. Um, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this square footage information to another sheet over here. Um, and I'm gonna paste it in there and um, then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do the same thing to the price. So I'm just gonna highlight the price, gonna copy that, and we're gonna paste it right next to this other one. Okay, um, I'm gonna delete this information out here. This is not anything that we need. Uh, it's not gonna help us out. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got uh, two columns of information. We've got the gross living area or the square footage, and we've got the price of the property. So um, from here, what we want to do is we want to we want to graph this to see what um, the you know the um, this is going to help us figure out the adjustment. I'll, I'll just go ahead and do it and kind of show you. 
uh, that's the best thing I can do. So uh, like I said before, um, what you would do is you would highlight the information such as this, and then uh, you would go up here and put insert and a recommended chart. That's what I always do. Usually um, the scatter plot is usually what it, it, uh, it suggests, and that's actually the one that we want. So since it is, uh, you know, shown here, we're going to just go ahead and, and do OK. OK, and this is the graph. So as you can see, the information, um, like the price, it took, it took this uh, header right here and put it here. And actually, the, the GLA would have been down here. It looks like that that, um, that label has, uh, is just not being shown. But if it was, it would be down here. So what this is, is just a scatter plot graph of this information. So it takes the square footage and the price, and then it plots it along here. So this is going to help us to determine what the price per square foot adjustment is. So the next step uh, for here is what we want to do is we want to um, insert a trend line for the, these, the plot of these points right here. So you would highlight one of the points and then you would right click and it's going to pull up this little box right here and as you can see it says add trend line so we're going to add a trend line and it's going to open up this box over here where you format the trend line we're just going to go with a linear trend trend line right now which is just a straight line um, and then if you go down to the bottom you will click these two uh, boxes right here and what it does, it, it added this right here, as you can see. I'm going to, let's see if I can increase the size of that. Yeah, I can, I can change the font. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, okay. So what this shows you is the, um, it's the slope intercept formula for this particular line right here. So it's just a mathematical representation of this line. Um, so what we do with this is we look at this number right here that's right before the X. That gives us the slope, um, which is, um, so you're given this line right here, and this is the slope. So in terms of, the, uh, of you know, doing this for um, the price per square foot and looking at, um, uh, you know, houses and their square footage and so forth, what this tells us right here is that for every additional square foot, the price of the home goes up by $87.335. So this is what we wanted right here. So um, this particular number right here, the R square, gives us kind of a, an idea of how closely, um, you know, how, how tight these um, the plot right here is. So. If this was one, if this equaled one, it would just be a straight line and all of those uh, plot points would be along that straight line. But because, um, you know, there's differences in uh, house prices, because there's differences in, um, you know, what people are willing to pay, their motivations and that type of thing, it's not going to be a perfect uh, plot. But uh, this, that's what this shows right here. So zero would, would not be very good and one would be perfect. So um, anywhere in between uh, is going to just give you an idea of how accurate um, or closely plotted those numbers are. So um, basically that's how you do that. We, you know, we took the uh, download from the MLS, loaded it into the Excel spreadsheet and then we took the gross living area and the price of the home and plotted it on a graph. And then we inserted the formula for that trend line, which, like I said, gives you the price per square foot that we use. So um, that's how you do that. And then um, the, what you would do with that, you would figure out the, any um, square footage differences between the subject property and the comparable sale. Uh, and then you would multiply this, um, we would just round this to $85. You would uh, multiply the price per square foot, we're just going to say 85, by the square footage difference between the subject property that you're trying to price and the comparable property. 
And if it's a, a larger property, um, you would um, subtract that amount uh, to get it more in line with the, with the subject property. If the uh, comp is smaller, you would add to the sale price of that um, based on the, um, the square footage difference multiplied by the price per square foot. And then you're gonna have a range of value. And then within that range of value, you can reconcile a final uh, list price for the property that you um, are listing. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And as always, I appreciate you uh, watching the videos.